Hi folks, Dan Stevens here, welcoming you to Tampa Bay Stadium. And my sidekick, Peter O'Keefe. Peter, both of these teams have, uh, well, some very talented players holding down the safety positions. Wouldn't you agree? No question about it, Dan. Safeties are often literally the last line of defense, and these are reliable as they come. Number 28 is an extraordinarily talented free safety. You know, for a defender, he's got great hands. So if a pass strays too close, you know he can come up with an interception. And here on the other side is another top-tier player. Number 31 is a superb player. He possesses a great blend of skills and abilities. And that well-roundedness is what makes him such an effective player. Okay, Peter, we'll see how they do once the game begins. But first, the toss of the coin. here and it pays off Evan has a small crowd of defenders working him and yet still makes the catch there's the catch and there were three guys around it they say bad things Brady gets it past the defender and into the arms of his receiver. That's a great play. Check it out. Ooh, nice, accurate throw. And this was a situation, Mr. O'Keefe, mm. where we had... White doesn't give up on this play. It's worth another look. That's what you call dive and touch the yard. Goes one on one on this play and beats his man. He executed that pass pattern perfectly and made the catch. Nice reception. Nope, they could not. Sanders sticks to his blockers like a kick me sign as he runs the football. Well, <laughs> that's a pretty vivid description, but I'll tell you, it works. And throws it deep down the left sideline and it's caught for the score. Number 14 faces down two defenders and comes away with the football. Oh, nice catch. That's his first touch. Send you to Chris Berman in our studios in Bristol for the ESPN halftime report. Boomer? Okay, Dana, we'll get back to you guys in a moment. Welcome, everybody, to the ESPN Halftime Show. I'm Chris Berman. A look inside the numbers from our first half and look at the discrepancy in sacks thus far. The Buccaneers should be way ahead on the scoreboard, but somehow they've let their opponent hang with them. Let's see if they can change things in the second half. Let's get started in this one early in the first quarter. Tom Brady connected with his man on this one. Buccaneers towards the end of the first quarter, already in the red zone. White is able to make things pay off on the ground. A three-yard touchdown for the Buccaneers. Buccaneers now early in the second quarter. Bucks out in front by six. Tom Brady would find his target on this one. They move ahead by 13. The boys still early in the second quarter. Number four would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. That set up a 31-yard field goal. Cowboys behind 13 to three. Number 55 was in the right place at the right time, as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. After driving 13 yards on three plays, number 19 would come on and connect on the field goal try, connect on their second field goal. And that's where we'll leave this one. Bucks are holding on to a lead, 13 to six. It's time now for our Halftime Hero Award, which recognizes the most dominant player of the first half. Duh. This time, there can be no question. Number 14 has played outstanding. So that'll do it from here. Let's send you back out now to Dan Stevens and Peter O'Keefe. Dan? Thanks, Chris. And to Evan, it's one beauty of a play here. He catches the football, but he sees he's got some room to move, and he ends up with a phenomenal run. Got a large swing open field like that in front of you. Was it supposed to be a touchdown? Sanders 
Jones sticks close to his blockers here. And it pays off. Peter, that will put a touchdown in his stack. The first down and a whole lot more. Tom Brady launches this one perfectly, and the D was nowhere to be found. You got that right. Missed coverage all around. That's right, Dan. My six-year-old could have covered that. Number 88 has a guy shadowing him, but still manages to make the catch. He beats his man Cole. It's all about staking your turf. 54 gets the interception, but that really happened because his teammate got in there and tipped it. Oh, it's all about coordinating your defense. Number two throws right past the coverage and into his receiver's hands. Nice throw. A very accurate pass downfield. Number 88 does a great job here battling three defenders. It's definitely worth a second look. Let's watch. And he still comes up with the ball. Wow, you can't coach that. Number 14 deals in the pass despite nearly getting squeezed by two defenders. There's the catch and the double coverage. They really one had tremendous concentration back there to make the interception after the pass was dropped. Well, that's their second interception of the game, and uh, Stingy is appearing to be the mod. Right, Number right, two doesn't right. leave much room for error on this one. It's either a great pass and completion or an interception. Let's take a look. Well, that's a great catch and a great completion. You don't see many quarterbacks. Okay, Dan, thank you very much. And let's welcome all of you back to the studio. I'm Chris Berman here to bring you our ESPN Video Games post-game wrap-up. The Buccaneers stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. Let's get started in this one early in the third quarter. Evans emerged as a real weapon as he pulled one in here. A 65-yard touchdown for the Buccaneers. The Buccaneers now up by 14. Ball at the 41. Sanders would get the carry here. Good blocking up front, it helped to spring him. A 40-yard touchdown for the Buccaneers. Bucks winning by 22. Tom Brady connected with his man on this one. They've opened it up now and lead by 30. The Bucks have it again. Number 14 came up with a big play as he was able to pull this one in. A 68-yard touchdown for the Buccaneers. Bucks leading 44 to six. Number 54 would come up with the big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. The Bucks have it off an interception, already inside field goal range. Number two would find his target on this one. A 22-yard touchdown for the Buccaneers. Cowboys behind by 46. Number four would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. The Bucks have it after a turnover on downs. Sanders got the carry here and he comes through. A one-yard touchdown for the Buccaneers. Bucks ahead, 60 to six. Number 31 is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. The Bucks, after getting an interception, the Buccaneers in control at the 33. Brown is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. The boys, after getting an interception, Cowboys trailing by a bunch. Number 13 ran a terrific route here and was able to pull this one in. The Bucks on defense, number seven, is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. And that's where we'll leave this one. Bucks serve up a blowout, 60 to six. Now let's check in with our player of the game. A guy who made one big time catch after another to help seal the win for his team. Number 14 is on hand with Susie Culver. Suze? Thanks, Chris. You really showed up today, and your team bulldozed to a runaway victory. What put you guys over the top? You know what it is? You know what our D does? We just play hard. I think our D line did a good job of controlling the line of scrimmage and pressuring the quarterback, and that helped us dominate on the defensive end. Chris, back to you. That concludes.